The yellow-robed squire, also known as the drunk boar, can be found in the Rockrest Flat part of the Fright Cliff region in Chapter 2. You'll find out that he needs something to sober him up, mentioning Windrest as a clue to where you can find such an ingredient. The item is the so-called Sobering Stone and can be obtained by completing the Man in Stone quest first or finding one at the Windrest Hamlet. <laughs> Raise thy cup, seek answers on high. Who defies death neath every sky? Oh, I messed up my mission. Go find something to sober me up. After giving him the sobering stone, he'll thank you, and will set off himself to the crouching tiger temple in search of a meaty meal. Ah, enough with the chit chat. My belly's growling. <laughs> I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. The Temple of Crouching Tiger, they say there's meat there. Worth a look. The feast first, then the toil. Hunger brings no spoils. Ugh. You should eat more, skinny. Off we go to the Temple of Crouching Tiger. I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. At the temple, we'll ask you to bring him a Jade Lotus, and when you give him the Jade Lotus, he'll relay some interesting information about a realm of gold that he's seeking. Oh, this putrid rat meat is insufferable. Help me score a tasty treat, will you? It drives me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? Oh, I wouldn't mind some meatless meals from time to time. Hmm, I have stumbled upon some interesting leads. The realm of gold does hold a connection to this desolate land. I hear the realm of gold is where the sun sets. There, they held rats above all others. Mm. And somehow, before we knew it, the realm was gone. Quite odd, that is. Hmm. I just tried those rat guys. They taste like men flesh. Hmm. Its people are not yet extinct. I suspect the Yellow Wind Guai had a role in their downfall. Our senior brother gave me a piece of gold. I'll need it here when the time's right, he said. It's the right time now. I'm taking it to the right place to give it a try. I just tried those rat guys. It's the right time now. Eventually, he will return to the area where you first crossed paths near Rockrest Flat at Fright Cliff.
This time he'll be found near the stairs that lead up to a large door that you can't open just yet. Regrettably, he's not happy about you having the gold and will challenge you to a duel. If you manage to defeat him, he will agree to let you accompany him on an adventure into the realm of gold before he vanishes through the massive gate at the top of the stairs. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games. <laughs> this is good. You and I should explore that realm together. Men in our time do not see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men of yore. Behold! Be it the realm of sunset or the realm of gold, it's but an echo of the past. Legends speak of an ancient, colossal beetle in these sands. Whilst deep in slumber, it lay hidden beneath the Earth's embrace. When awakened, it would devour all souls that crossed its path. Its shell, harder than stone, defied the strikes of common arms. It struck fear into traveling merchants and wider to neighboring realms. But a yellow-furred rat sensed the immense power emanating from the insect. He halted the beetle's havoc and harnessed it for his own end. Overjoyed, the king named the rat Guai, the royal sage, and built a shrine in his honor. The bound beetle was a perfect source of power, so the rat stayed. He seized the tongue monk using the new power, and battled with Soon Wukong upon the Yellow Wind Ridge. The Guai's formidable wings failed the vast expanse of the sky. Were it not for Bodhisattva Lingji, Tongue Monk's quest for the scriptures would have failed. Yet, 
stripped of the rat's protection, the kingdom was plunged into a state of ruin. The once lush Yellow Wind Ridge now lies a desolate wasteland. <laughs>